How's it going, YouTube? Chris here, Mouth Theater. I got a brand new video for you this morning. I want to talk about World War Z 4K UHD. Um, I really don't know where to begin about this movie. So, pre-ordered this movie a while back, and I was really excited about it because I really like this movie. I have the Blu-ray version, and also have the Steelbook Blu-ray. And it's just, it's one of my favorite zombie films. Um, because it gives a, I feel like it just gives a little different take on, on zombies and stuff. So I really liked it. So it was real excited for it to come out. Now, um, I'm trying to figure out how to talk about the movie and not rant about the movie. So first of all, let's just, let's, let's, Let's talk about the packaging, okay? I ran a little bit about the packaging. So this is exactly how it came. This is a pre-order, and um, and I know this is uh, I guess it's Scream Factory, but uh, I was really hoping to get a slip cover, and we did not get a slip cover. Uh, I don't know if they even make them with the slip cover. All I know is I pre-ordered, and a lot of times if you get the movies when they first come out. Most of the time you'll get a slip cover, and then sometimes down the road, if you wait, you won't get a slip cover. So I'm not really sure about that. All I know is it didn't come with one. Now, if you open it up, you got you actually have well, this disc is actually my player where, I, where I've already watched it. So you got the 4K UHD, which is the theatrical cut. So then when you flip it over, you got two more cuts. You got the Blu-ray theatrical cut, and you have the Blu-ray extended cut. So you got two cuts of the film, but only the theatrical cuts in 4K. So that is a little disappointing. And you get no digital, which I don't care about the digital. You don't get a digital code with it. And I don't think uh, Screen Factory, whatever, I don't think they do a lot of digital codes i might be wrong i've got a few other movies and uh but 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 anyway uh that's that's it on the packaging so let's talk about the uh the, the picture quality um and then when i put it in uh it to me the picture looked really good now i was going to do some screenshots from the 4k to the blu-ray to really get a comparison um, but I didn't, just didn't get a chance to do that. I was, uh, tied up yesterday afternoon and, uh, just had a lot of, uh, son's got some visitors and stuff. So I just, I didn't get a chance to get a lot of stuff done other than watch the movie. So the picture quality looked good. It is definitely an upgrade from the picture standpoint. Um, had a softness to it, so it's not like 4K crisp like some of your newer movies are going to be. But it looked really good. Uh, dark scenes looked great. Uh, colors looked good. Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, they're, they're really not colors that's going to pop out at you. Uh, but, it, but, it was, but it was really good. Um, so I think you do get an a uptick in video quality. And uh, and uh, I think that's about where it ends. So I I want to talk about how 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 good video quality is, but got to talk about something else. Um, so let's just say, guys, it, it from picture quality standpoint, you do get an upgrade. It looks better. Uh, it looks really good. Which the Blu-ray looked really good. So I like the picture. I don't have any issues with the picture. And I like it from that standpoint. So let's talk about sound. This is where it gets disappointing. So I remember looking on Blu-ray.com. And I've had other people have corroborated what I said. Because I mentioned this in my in my last video. Okay. Um, Dolby Atmos. This movie on Blu-ray.com. For audio had Dolby Atmos. So I mentioned that in my flash uh, video at the end, telling you my next video, what was up and coming. 
And uh, a lot of people commented, it's not no be at most, it's actually this, this. And uh, I went back and looked, and yes, that's what it is. So the Blu-ray version is in DTS HD Master 7.1. Okay, that's pretty good. When you get a, a DTS HD 7.1, even though it's not DTS X, it's not no be at most, that is a that is a really good aggressive track for the most part. I I, li I like all the seven point one tracks and stuff, and and I thought it was really good. So at most, I feel like would have been a tremendous upgrade over that. And come to find out, they went with a five point one on this a five point one DTS HD Master. Come on, guys, why? The potential is there uh, to really, really give a tremendous atmosphere track. So, all right. So when they land the plane in Korea, and when they open the doors, you could you could hear you could hear the zombies making noises. And how good would that have been to hear that through the uh, height effects, atmosphere track, atmosphere speakers. Um, and, and it was raining. I mean, that scene, and there's more scenes than that, but that scene <laughs> would have benefited from Atmos and it would have been awesome because anytime you have, you got rain, you got other ambient noises, the uh, Atmos track just adds to the movie. Now, I will say this, my, my Emotiva processor and a lot of receivers and processor has the TTS Neural X, so you get to up mix the the track, so you will get sounds out of all the speakers, but it is not the same. It sounds good, and it sounds better than a five point one, and it sounds better than a seven point one, but it's not the same as a DTS X mixed for that, or a Dolby Atmos mixed for you know your high effects and stuff. So. But I will say this now. I know a lot of times when we get uh, a newer soundtrack, they 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 cut corners on the bass and stuff. Now I'm I'm, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna watch some couple of scenes in in this. There was a scene when they were in um, Israel when Israel fell to the zombies, and there was an explosion. I'm trying to remember if it was when. The helicopter went down or what but guys <laughs> I, I gotta go back and check it out on the blu-ray i mean i had it i had it cranked up now i had it cranked up pretty good but guys that base that explosion that base went off it was tactile i mean it's like it dug deep 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 and i was like whoa that was interesting so i'm, I'm curious to go back because I don't really remember that on the Blu-ray. So I want to go back and see if, you know, they did something different with the bass. Uh, I just know that the Blu-ray was really good. I mean, that's why I was so much anticipating this 4K. And, and guys, I'm not totally disappointed in this. But, I mean, I don't know if it's, I don't know, I don't know if this is worth the upgrade over this. You know, I mean, I've already bought it. And I've got it. I'm not going to return it. It's good. Um, but guys, if you got this, I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's really worth buying this or not. But uh, I mean, I, I guess I can leave that in up to y'all. I know I posted on Facebook about um, you know this not having an Atmos track and. And a lot of people said that's that's killer for them, and they're not going to order. I had some say that they were going to cancel the pre-orders. I mean, guys, I don't want to say that. Hey, don't buy this, and I'm not going to say that because I mean, really, I I I do like the 4K. The 4K picture is good. It's 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 really good. It's just a disappointment, and I'm seeing a lot of that here lately. Uh, we're just just. They're releasing 4K movies and not doing an Atmos. And then sometimes they, they, you know, I talked about this in another video, 
they go back and they add it to the stream. They add the Atmos to the stream, but when you get the disc, you're not getting that. I know Sisu is a prime example of that. I don't do. I mean, I've got it on on iTunes 4K Atmos, and it's got a good Atmos track, but it's a stream, so the physical disc will be so much better. Get to the disc 4K Dolby Audio. I mean, I, I don't I don't get it. It's almost like they want to kill physical media. They still ain't going to kill it for me, guys. I mean, I'm physical media all the way. I got I got movies coming in the mail today and next week and the week after that and after that. And I've been looking at the release calendar. There's some there's some good stuff coming up. Um, and I'll be reviewing uh, a lot. Not all, uh, but, but, but most. But guys, um, World War Z, 4K. Um, I really don't know what to tell you guys. If, if, if you like the movie and you want the 4K in the collection, hey, by all means, pick it up. But if 4K, if having a 4K picture uh, is not that important to you, you'll be totally, totally satisfied with the World War Z. And especially with a 7.1 DTS track. I mean, it's killer. It's killer. Uh, but Neuralex does a good job with this. Uh, I'm going to go back and watch this one today. Uh, I want to see if that, that scene in Israel has that tactile base like, like, like the 4K does. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm curious about that. I'm just running out of time. I'm, I'm actually doing this video before work. On Sunday, I'm back on kind of like on seven days right now, uh, which I kind of need it. Uh, so, um, so I'm trying to get this video in before work and uh, just kind of let you, your guys know my thoughts on the World War Z. Um, it's 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 a good 4K picture. It's disappointing from the aspect. All right, so I'm disappointed about not getting a slip. I don't care about the digital codes. You don't get a slip, you don't get the extended cut in 4K, and we don't get Atmos track. So honestly, uh, there's probably a lot more disappointments than there is highlights or things that I like. Uh, the 4K picture is good, but I think that's where it ends. Honestly, I do. So do I recommend it, guys? This this is good. This is a really good. So like I said a few minutes ago. Um, if you want 4K picture, get it. If 4K is not important, this is this is good. This is good, and you'll be happy with it. So, guys, I guess that's my recommendation. Okay, uh, I don't. I've, I've I've got some plans on some other videos coming up. I want to do some how tos and stuff like that on how to hook up our amp or just some basic stuff, man. Uh, but I, I want to do some stuff like that. I need to try to get some more content out. I want to put some more videos out uh, for the week. And a lot of times I get home, I'm tired, working two jobs, 10, 12 hours a day, 10 hours a day, eight hours, even eight hours a day, I'm tired. So, but I got I to gotta get some more content out for you guys. So uh, hopefully I can do that. And if, yeah, if you got any suggestions on some content, hey, hey drop it down in the, in the description. And uh, also definitely let me know uh, did you have you pre-ordered the uh, World War Z 4K? Uh, did you get it? Um, honestly, you can buy it on if you if if you just want the 4K, you can buy it on iTunes cheaper. Uh, it might be ten dollars, it might be five dollars, I don't know. And you get it on 4K, but it's not at most because I looked, <laughs> I looked. Um, so guys, that's my video today. I uh, hope everybody has a wonderful Sunday, and uh, we're gonna catch you again in the next video.